What's up, YouTube? Um, it's my third time shooting this video. First time I rambled on. Uh, second time it went a little too long. I didn't ramble as much. But uh, this time I am going to kind of rush through it. So it's, please excuse me. Nike Dunk High Premium SB. I promised you guys this video a long time ago. This shoe took a little bit longer to come out than I thought it would. And um, when it did come out, I still kind of slacked and didn't put the video out in time. So, uh, colorway, real pink and metallic silver. Here we have the Porky SB High. Named after the movie Porky's, a movie I did not see. And I do not know what's the relevance of the shoe to the movie or what uh, they threw in. Uh, in the shoe that represents in the movie if that makes any sense to you guys uh, I'm pretty sure you know what I mean uh, I did not get the concept pack the concept pack came with a Dubre that goes right here it's like a pig with wings uh, the name of the shoe actually is when pigs fly I'm pretty sure yeah it's when pigs fly so kind of like if you were wearing it open you know it would look like the these shoes have wings but I don't lace my SB's like that and the reason I don't is because I have scent helps and um you know, it's like a seven, six, seven-year-old shoe. I bought them used, and the guy who had them um, did not do lace them this way. He left it floppy. So when you leave it floppy, it looks kind of cooler, but you do get a a very you know worn, kind of decreased material here. You know, you kind of you kind of mess this up. And as far as uh, longevity of the shoe goes. It may look cool, but it's not good for the shoe. I, I don't do it. I lace all my highs this way now. And maybe you get away with it with an all leather high. But I still wouldn't do it because you are going to end up getting wrinkles there. So. Um, silver laces. The concept pack came. This is metallic silver. This is metallic silver. This shoe is crazy. I mean, the I didn't need the concept pack to love this shoe. This shoe is sick as a uh, quick strike. So, uh, gum sole. Gum sole is always fire. I did wear these. I wore them to my boy, um, Andy's daughter's birthday, and I got a lot of love uh, on this shoe. Kind of people who don't really like shoes gave me a lot of compliments on it, which speaks of the uh, impact the shoe has on, you know, neck breaking. And I'm trying to do a little bit faster, but real quick, you can see, I just want to show you the guys the quality of this shoe. And I'm sorry if, the, like I said, this video took me a long time last time, so I'm reshooting it. But I still can't just skip stuff like that. This weight right here, or new buck, is the same as this. It's a little bit, like, shorter, more compact down. And this panel, and this panel, and this panel uh, is a little bit, you know, furrier. If that makes any sense to you guys. But I'm sure uh, Nike SB fans do understand what I mean. So they used a lot of different materials. There's, there's really no contrast stitching. That kind of would have ruined the shoe, I guess. Um, happy they didn't do that. The suede on this tongue is crazy. You guys can see that. The shoe is just an awesome shoe. Quality shoe. And it's a shame that Nike SB can make this shoe for $112. And Jordan brand can charge us $165 and sell us crap. But... I do love Jordan Brand, so don't take that as law. Uh, the concept pack did come with laces this color. It came with white laces. It came with black laces. And like I said, the uh, little Dubre there. It came with a skateboard, too. It just it just was a waste of money for me. Not only did I not care about the laces that much more, but I wasn't going to pay $140 more for a skateboard deck, a t-shirt that probably wasn't going to fit me. You know, it's just... It, it wasn't worth it to me. So I could have had them, but I, I didn't get them. I'm fine with these. I, this is like a slap in the face, this, these black laces. This is like, you didn't get the concept pack, so uh, screw you. Take these black laces. <laughs> but it's okay because the uh, metallic silvers are all I need. And I probably talked too much on that shoe, but I guess it deserved my time. Really quick now. Lunar P-Rod. Uh, crystal man, I think the color is. And white. So, kind of all new buck shoe. I uh, did a video on the Safari um, Lunar Rods. Check my other videos out. Uh, follow me on Instagram, G-O-L-D-O-87. Um, follow Underground Skate Shop. Underground Skate Shop on Instagram. And um, my boy Joey, 
Joey also hooked me up, uh, helped me get these. Did me a solid real quick because I wasn't able to get them right away. So let me shoot him out. He posts a lot of dope uh, sneaker pics. So that's my man Joey. And his Instagram name is right there. Joey Oso. Follow him. If you guys want, post a lot of dope um, sneaker pics. You won't be disappointed. We only buy... Well, we don't only buy heat. We buy what we like, so... Shoot my man Joey out. Oh, real quick. You gotta get this Diamond Scully if you have this shoe. You know, the uh, materials are different, so it's not gonna be like the exact same color, but it is the exact same color. Um, you could say this is Tiffany blue, blah, blah, blah. It doesn't matter. It's, it's mint. If this was suede, it'd be this exact same color. So, if you... If you can get this scully and you have this shoe, that's a dope fit right there. And last but not least, an older shoe. You know I like to show these older shoes. I feel like this one was slept on. I posted it last night on my Instagram with a uh, Iron Man statue. that I, I kind of have a bunch of Iron Man statues actually. but um, And I got a lot of love. I think I broke my like record <laughs> for an uh, average dude like myself. I got almost 90 likes and I don't have that many followers. So that was a lot. Um, I relays these and uh, I was messing with the video today I I forgot to put the 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 uh, you know the thing through here but I'll do that before I wear them and uh, got a crazy fitted to go with these and the reason I mentioned my boy Joey in the last video I mean in the last shoe because Joe hit me on Instagram and asked me why I didn't do the lace swap so this is why Joe this would have ruined the shoe going with this fitted. See, much more black on this fitted. Very little accent. This is actually kind of like a gold or a maze. And this is yellow. But, you know, from head to toe, you can't tell. And it's not that serious anyways. I mean, the hat couldn't have been better if it was actually made for the shoe. Which I doubt it was. But, these laces would have ruined that fit. Thank you guys for watching. And, um, you know, check out my other videos. Follow me on Instagram, GOLD87. And real quick, super dope new beanies at my local skate shop, underground skate shop. I love these beanies. And uh, this is the uh, charcoal one. This is the, like, a heather gray. I'll probably give one of these away. I'll do it on Instagram, though, because you get a lot of hate on YouTube. YouTube is like high school. And the minute you try to do something nice for people, you get a lot of negativity. So, thank you guys. Thanks for watching. And uh, check my other videos out, guys. Thanks.